Thank y'all for being here today. Back to the madness. I'm excited to continue on, see where this goes. All right, we got our boots. Now we got to wash them in the sink. It said, right? Everybody getting their vaccine, huh? Second five is gonna fuck me up. Can't move my arm like every 20 minutes. Man. Ah, here we go. Let's talk to this pot, I guess. This industrial gas powered stove has been used to prepare food for many hungry hostile guests. There are several pots and pans on hand. Getting the corpse residue out of these boots is going to require patience. Oh, and no. And also a huge pot full of boiling water, soap, and white vinegar. Check out the cookware. A commercial pot draws your attention. It's very large, gigantic even. It could be used to make enough stew to feed an entire city and also to boil a putrid pair of death boots. Check out the cleaning supplies. There is a variety of soaps and bleaches in the cabinet to the left of the stove. There is also a bottle of white vinegar in the cabinet next to the fridge. To the left, to the left. Keep your soaps and your bleach to the left. Soap! The boots are really disgusting. Oh, shit. Yep. Dish soap and white vinegar. The delicious smells of cheap soap and vinegar waft up from the pot. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hold on. Variety of soaps and bleaches. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 All right, now, chef. Light up the stove and boil them. I'm gonna boil some denim. <laughs> ah, I got a rivet. Ah, the rivet burned me. And water and the boots to the pot. Bring it to a the boil. The strong smell of vinegar forces you to step away from the pot. The water slowly comes to a boil. Wait. Strips of polymer fabric and human tissue separate from the lining of the boots. Mm. They float to the bubbling surface. Just like grandma used to make. A two-course dinner of rotten flesh and hardened ceramic. Wait some more. The boots look cleaner and cleaner. Those bits of human flesh are beginning to look cooked. You can smell it too. You want to go to Montana, you guys need to get on that. Oh, I know. I know. Thanks, Scott. Just like beef stew. Mmm, beef stew. That's it, chef. The boots are as clean as they're going to get. Steam dense with the smell of strange meat disappears into the vent above the stove. Dump the sock and flesh stew and examine your new boots. A pair of real beauties. The boots are shiny, hot, and reek of vinegar. Just mm. perfect. Master chef, out. New thought. Wasteland of oh, reality. Montana's is a U.S. Congrats, state. Congrats, you're sober. It will take a while for your body to remember how to metabolize anything that isn't sugar from alcohol. So you're going to be pretty ravenous soon. Eat plenty. You can expect your coordination and balance to improve in a couple of weeks. In two months, you might start sleeping like a normal person. Full recovery will take years, though. It'll be depressing. And it'll be boring. Don't expect any further rewards or hand claps. This is how normal people are all the time. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. All right, so we got insomnia. We're sober. We're boring. But that is, like, it's a zero sum for these two. Everything else goes up one. And, but physical instrument goes down one. So these balance out. So th no change in Inland Empire suggestion, but the other three, I think go up by one. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. This going up, did that have any effect on new checks? No, it didn't. Okay. All right. No positive effects from alcohol. Alcohol gives me one plus one physicality, right? Ooh, 
shit. Fairweather T500 Greaves. Give me plus two authority, but minus one composure. These greaves are light as feathers and just a tad too big for you, but don't let that bother you. With these on, you look like some kind of future warrior. And they'll keep you saving if you accidentally shoot yourself in the foot. So worth it. You look down at the white ceramic sabatons hugging your arches and calves, surprised at how well they fit. Is there any alcohol you get from fermenting bananas, or is that just end up being rum? Uh, it's like Pruno Bizobinator. I like you can ferment anything, like any fruit that has a certain chemical in it. Already, I don't know if bananas have it though. To be honest with you, your movements cause tiny little clicks like dice rolling somewhere far away as the plates reorient to your motions. Well, I will be responsible with this. This is just to protect me from harm, not to show off. Decked out in future armor like a cop ought to be. The hardened vitreous enamel, at once sleek and voluptuous, adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Goddamn right. Just imagine what a full suit of this stuff could do for you. Time cop! You really do feel more confident. Invulnerability does that. Even partial invulnerability. Oh, is it just sugars that ferment? As long as it has sugar, you can turn to alcohol or beer. I didn't know that. I didn't know the process. I have no idea, like, how it works. What, Kitten Blaster? Will Kim notice you wearing them? Oh, I'm not going to wear them around Kim. If I do, it'll be an experiment. I'll save before I put them on and see what Kim says. Because I'm guessing Kim is not going to be happy about me stealing the boots when he's explicitly told me not to. Uh, oh, banana beer is popular in Africa. East Africa. Oh, okay. This gear could line my pockets with some cash. I could probably sell it to some other cops. This is the long sought after enemy technology. I can't just enjoy it. I must study it. Remember, this is a highly specialized kinetic redistributor Ooh, meant a new to thought. stop bullets. Wear it. Observe its properties. See if there's a weakness in the design. For the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material. Right. Uh, okay. Fairweather T500. It really hurts to punch this armor. A sword wouldn't leave us even a scratch. A bullet would bounce right off. Still, there must be some flaw in it that would allow you to stand your ground against this dangerous enemy technology. You just have to figure out what it is. Possibly by beating yourself while wearing it? Shooting yourself? Let's see. <laughs> All right. What is the thought we can actually get rid of? I like the perception ones. I want to keep those. Oh, so this plus one to pain threshold... Uh, oh, that's physical instrument, different thing. Okay, never mind. Our degree is great. I mean, this one gives me 10, 10 cents per bubble, and that adds up. Any circle with a dot in it, I get 10 cents to click it. <coughs> or, uh, excuse me, green circle with a dot. Oh, there's... Oh, if shirt slot is empty, plus two to physical instrument. Do I still have... I don't have the negatives anymore, do I? <laughs> Bonus from thoughts. Hold on. Is it... This one. Nope, not that one. This right here. Does it have to be like, I'll take this off? Hold on. I have my physical instrument is at a four. It says bonus from thoughts plus one. It should be plus two. There must be another thought that's minusing it. 
Let's give me a minus one. Oh, yeah, the insomnia. Right. Okay. Duh. Duh. Gotta keep those finger pistols. Wanna keep that. Succeed all hand eye coordination passives. I mean, that's pretty good. Never seems to surprise me the thing you don't know is a 40 year old man. Never stop learning and asking those questions. Oh, I know. I know. Mm. I want to keep that one. I think I can get rid of this one. I can get rid of the physical instrument one because plus two of my shirt slot is empty. I don't think I need that. I need to punch anybody, right? I got four that I want to, I want to find out what they do, especially this one. That's a tough call. <clears throat> you know what? I'm forgetting it. I'm forgetting it. Boop! It's gone now. Too late. All right. So, Fairweather T500 seems to be the one I want. I don't know. Jamrock Shovel could be cool. Says I could open more more juicy containers. Trash can, utensil trays. Probably get better at something. I don't know. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm not going to do the Revisholian Nation. I'm just not going to do that. I will give you a uh, poll in the chat. Here we go. New poll. Which should I learn? Question mark, please. Thank you. All right. Con science. Uh, jam rock shuffle or T five hundred. All right, start the poll. Let's see what you guys think. Are you really gonna be sober? Oh, if when it comes to alcohol, not drugs though. Alcohol doesn't have any effect on me anymore, but drugs certainly still do. I would have, I would think they just mentioned alcohol. I don't know shit about this game, so I'll better not vote. Janice, what are you doing? Have you ever been on Twitch or Twitter? You don't need to know anything to vote on anything. Or have you ever been in a country that has, that's a democracy? You don't need to know shit to vote. It's all good. No one does. <laughs> See how we're looking here. All right. It is looking like most of you want to do the boots. T500, the armor. Let's do it. All right. Boots it is. These boots were made for voting. That's just what they'll do. Some of these, one of these days, these boots are gonna vote all over you. Okay. So next up, heading to the, actually we should probably go to the store and get some healing items because we are completely out of healing items.
Yeah, you still use the alcohol for negative effects. That's true. I didn't think about that. If I want to get that suicide cop thing, all I got to do is buy some alcohol. Take some speed. Oh. Oh. Yellow rose and winter. None of the flowers. Like, we're left for uh, Kanye. A colorful display. The bottles wink at you in the light. Oh, right. There. In that dark. I'm obliged to inform. Don't ask. Know this. Okay, here we go. You will never finish your alcohol. Please tell me about these course. alcohol products. Um, the Pale Age Vodka is special, I guess. It's stored in pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. Oh, it's stored in the pale. So it's stored in the place between realities, between bubbles. Okay, I get it. Oh, by the way, we learned that the place we are in, this universe is a bubble. It's like multiple bubble universes or, or places. And outside of them, like Revishal and stuff, like whatever is contained within one bubble. And like another land is contained within another bubble. But in between there is called the pale, the nothingness, the void, the absence of stuff. And it's fucking weird, man. I didn't, I did not expect that to be the case. All right. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Consuming this stuff in my body. I mean, I already said it'd hurt you. I don't know what else they do. Mm. Substances give powerful bonuses to your main stats. Thank you. At the cost of damage to your health or morale. Ah. Cigarettes raise your intellect while damaging your health. Alcohol raises physique while damaging your morale. Oh, shit. That's right, Scott. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that... Um... We're going to be, as soon as Disco Elysium is over, we'll be probably splitting our time. Because I don't want to keep Scott for the entire, I don't think I can keep Scott for an entire, like, stream. Because it's going to, apparently it takes two, takes many hours to complete. So, we'll probably be splitting our time between Odd, War, Odd World and It Takes Two. Coming up after Disco's done. Use medication, like Nosefed and Magnesium, to counteract the negative effects of substances. We'll go over to Discord, okay. Note, consuming substances can have unforeseen consequences yeah, I for know. you. <laughs> Scott, I just got, like, this is what I heard in my head. Like, you pulled me aside like your, like your wife does to you all the time. Like, can we discuss this at home? Can we please discuss this in Discord and not in public, please? We don't need to do this here. Let's not do this here. Do you sell any under-the-counter vices? No, Frit only sells legal drugs, like the law says. Okay, I will leave, and I will get some of these. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. Okay, here. I Thank you. Think Bye. Hey. So if I hooked up my PlayStation 4, my PS4, I could get it on PS Plus for free? Is that what you're saying? I mean, for the for the subscription price of PlayStation. Uh, let's see. Time to go on a date. Here we go. I'm feeling good, feeling sexy. I got the expression ready to go. Hi, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's in your mind, officer? Fuck, that's right. I gotta explore the coast first or else my check sucks. All right. That's my motor carriage in the sea, by the way. Oh. That's good to know, I mm. guess. Why is it in the sea? Well, uh, there's a good reason. And uh, give me 10 seconds and I'll come up with it. Oh, Oddworld's PS5 exclusive. Oddworld's on Epic. Okay. Well, I don't have a fucking PS5, so we'll just get it on Epic. That's fine. I didn't want to hook up my PlayStation anyway, honestly. It's an insta installation. Wet my lips. Mmm. Very conceptual. Hmm. An installation. 
Us poor people are stupid and don't get installations. All I see is a heap of trash. This actually calls for a funeral, I think. Yeah, don't forget to use my code. Good idea, yeah. Here's just when we honor the carcass of my former motor carriage. Hi. Feels deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty like that and all. Well, shit. Hmm. You can still claim Oddworld for PS5 through the PS app? Oh, okay. I'll just get it on PC. It looks gorgeous from the, from the uh, videos I saw. Oh, I will forget. Yeah, I'll forget to use the code for sure. Mr. Weedo, 71 months. Holy shit. What an odd thought. Maybe I should. Why odd? Our things are part of our life world. They're made with our human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans. To some extent, at least. All right, I'm in. But organizing a funeral takes a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You won't even be able to get it out of the water before early June. And where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Mm -hmm. Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals. It's easiest to just leave them there and let nature take care of it. Well, it's a pity we don't get to do more frivolous side activities like rejuvenate the doomed commercial area or... I understand, believe me. I really do. I think about all the frivolous side activities I could be doing every time I go out there with my nets. But daydreaming is a rich man's game. At sea, you can't afford to be careless and dream. Anyway, what are we talking about here again? Nothing. I'll be seeing you. I'm gonna go explore the coast. I guess. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? The planks creak beneath your weight. Ah, oh, I'm a fatty. Oh, let's not let's not forget to take off those boots. Oh. So every time I put them on, it makes that dinging sound. Sounds good. Um, I I thought I had shoes that didn't. Oh, it's the boots. Where are those? There they are. Those ones give me one plus one in perception and no negatives, so that's good. All right. Ahem. The ladder leads to a school of fish swimming in kelp. Chad, remind me, was there anything else I wanted to do on my own without uh, Kim's prying eyes on me? I got the boots. I talked to the lady. Mad, just masturbating. Oh, I'll do that. But I like him watching when I do that, so that's different. I stared directly into his eyes for five minutes. The legend returns. You know the deal, legend man. Smokes a smoky, pilsner, gets you drunk. You've already cut. Hi, by amphetamine, I mean speed. Right, got it. Good, good, my man. No. Hi, by amphetamine, I. Good, good, oh, my oh, okay. man. Okay, amphetamine, let me try this. You didn't hear me, I'm a police officer. Sure did, buddy boy. That's why I said amphetamine. I mean, good, good, my man. Now, Damn what it. can I offer you? So I get smokes and pilsners from this guy. Maybe I should get some smokes. Yeah, for my intellect. I don't have anything to raise my intellect, so. My kind of guy. I'll get those. Hey. Yep, okay, so I've got intellect and psyche, or intellect, motorics. Oh, I don't have anything for psyche, though. I don't have a parholidol, parholidol, which is the only thing that I've seen that raises my psyche. Is 
door is closed for today. Time to put the kids to sleep. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to get in there. Hey, kids, open up. Uncle, uh, Uncle Ambrosius is here. A little black swallow circles above you. You hear it, shut up. Shut up. Wow. What I just clicked is a long way around. I found something I can grab. Let me grab this. What is it? Yeah. Another power box. It charges nothing now. It's empty. Oh, shit. Where's my tear bag? Oh, it's a tool. Oh, God, it's a tool. That's right. Whew. Idiot. Okay, got it. Tools, good. There we go. Gotta have those rubber gloves on when you're picking up trash. Fence blocks the path. No way from here. Wait a minute. I noticed that before, and now I didn't. Is it because I... Because I changed my gloves? Or did I, did I already click on that bubble? I must have already clicked that bubble. Okay, I did, okay. I just didn't remember it. All right, tools, I need, uh, let's try this one. Is that it? That's it, okay, clip it open. Clip, snip, oh, $5.25 gonna be about 550 you see a once bright mural towering above you the signage has peeled off over the years but you can still make out feld electrical rnd a slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago now only a shadow of peeled letters remains it says tomorrow is just a whisper away Tomorrow is just a whisper away. The wind whispers and whispers. Hi, my name is Ruin. Thank you for the 14 months. Oh, a Tuesday stream. Just celebrate my 14 months? You shouldn't have, you big loving goof. It was for you. Absolutely. And Wasabi, thank you for the 18. Before that? No, goddammit, Wasabi. I didn't mean no tree fitty. I meant five fitty. You heard what I said. I'm in 525. Oh shit, there's another one. Whoops. Okay, so I can't wait. I can't get around. But there is a door up on the roof of this place. You see a slogan. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go through the back way, maybe. Oh. What? What all this down? Take the bottles. that a big wine canister it's open and empty well looking at it gave me 10 cents so I'm happy about that whoa shit I got things careful there these floorboards look rotten and weak the smell it's awful and familiar 
What is it? Don't you recognize it? That idiot's pungency. That faintly cloying sweetness. Only death smells like that. Oh, yeah. Kim's not with us, so we should, uh... Nope, not that. There we go. I'm alone now. Something cold wakes in the pit of your stomach. Fear. God damn it. A sense of dread washes over you as you look ahead. There's some tear, an empty cigarette package, and a crumpled kebab wrapper kebab. in the trash bin. Examine the tear. Two empty bottles of Tallulah vodka and a can of black potent porter is all you find. No, there's more in there. Livis strawberry liquor, mm. plus some Pilsner bottles mm. too. Better not pick them up. They seem unhygienic. Whoever tossed it here was a heavy smoker. The brand name reads Red Astra. You see traces of mayonnaise and ketchup on it, as mm. well as a tomato wedge. The wrapper reads, Shish Kebab Revachon. It's hard to concentrate in the smell. The sea air brings some relief. Okay. Let me look at this. What's this? I'll get back to you, buddy. This coin operator viewer has been out of order for years. Stop messing with the coin viewer and hold on to something. The wind is so strong. A man lies on the boardwalk. Oh, His limbs fuck. bent and neck turned at an unnatural angle. Right next to him is an empty bottle of spirits in his cramped hand, a chewing gum wrapper. Oh, he was trying to walk and chew gum at the same time. The smell is not as bad as a two week old corpse, but it's definitely heading there. Oh shit, I'm here without Kim. Oh no. Another dead body. This is your job. Steal yourself. Calm now, carefully. Just another day. Just another dead body. Breathe. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'll come back to you. I will come back to you when Kim's here. Oh. Moonshine, probably. Smells like tasty fermentation. No. Oh, I can't. Okay, I gotta get down. Go down. Get, get out of here. Keep moving. On down. I should probably call my wife and tell her I'm gonna be late. A metal payphone under a yellow plastic dome. There's a bitter caustic. T Never mind, I guess. I'm not. I don't got anyone to call anyway. <laughs> What's, what's this? Heavy wooden oh, it's doors, a church. Oh. more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. I'm right out of the door. Nothing happens, only the sound of the padlock rattling against the door. I'm gonna inspect the carpet. Carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. I'm gonna run my hand over a beam and get a splinter. The surface is smooth from the wind, oh. but moist to the touch. That reminds me of my girlfriend. <laughs> She's smooth and moist. Feels oh. exceptional. 300 tons of pine would fit together seamlessly. It's old too, cut and carved many centuries ago. I'm taking a closer look at the padlock. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting. Somehow, hmm. you see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile, and the X's make it dead. Well, if I examine the body without Kim, there's input that he probably has and stuff. I just, I'd have to do it again. Might as well just do it once. Do it right. I'm gonna take another look at the padlock. This cheap-looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a smiling dead guy into the wooden door. 
The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. So it's, it's, uh, this basically. Oh, well this, but with a, with a smile instead of a straight lip. I don't know how to do a curve down, anyway. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting, somehow. Let me the the padlock passes through a staple that's been hastily attached to the wood. Closer inspection reveals that one of the screws is not a screw at all, but a nail. The work has been done recently and is unprofessional, to say the least. Should you want to get through, it might be easier to just pry the whole thing off. Interfacing should be real easy. Yeah, I'm good at that. I'm going to try to peel the sticker off without ripping it. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. Oh. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it in my ledger. Oh, I'm going to put it on my ledger right on the cover. Well, actually, you know, what do we do? Chad, why don't you guys decide? Put it in my ledger where it belongs. Put it on my ledger right on the cover. Shake it off with your thumb and throw it to the wind. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to put it right on the cover. Voila. Looks very modern. Secret task. Oh, style your paperwork. Interesting. Now, this one's going to be real bad. Even with the instrument equipped. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The so... rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock. Nine or better? Drilled into the wood. Yeah, three. Yeah, nine or better. You can you can give me some uh, points in physique. If you want to give me some physique points, that'd be real, real, uh, real swell of you. Oh, there's Rhymey. You got it. How do you do that? That under uh, parenthesis. That's amazing. No, not Psyche Physique, you idiots! Thank you. You're not idiots, I, I was kidding. Uh, oh shit, I should've put on clothes! Oh, no time to do that now! Eight or better, let's go! You jam the Ooh, primer we did it, guys. The and the staple and apply force. Your biceps bulge from the strain. The metal creaks and squeals. The pathetic old wood Rusty screws and one nail stand no chance against the forces of leverage from deep within a bellow rips. Welcome to Revish Revish Lock. Suddenly, the pry bar snaps. <gasps> Metal shavings fly everywhere. The upper half between the lock and the staple falls to the ground with a thunk. The fuck? How is that even possible? Your muscles do not know. <coughs> oh, that damaged my morale. Are You're you sure kidding? The wood looked weak. I'm gonna look at the broken tool. The broken edge of the snapped pry bar is smooth. Took the tip right off. Broke the pry bar. Where do we get a new one? The church does not reply. The wood now seems less rotten. The screws and one nail almost shimmer with perseverance. Oh, fuck. That sucks. So I... Oh, let's put that back in my hand. No more no more pry bar, though. That blows. All right. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular... Oh. Oh, I didn't actually... I didn't do it. I just snapped the thing and I didn't open the padlock, huh? Heavy wooden door. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, whatever. Well, I needed a super pry bar anyway to open that ice cream thing. You know what? Going anywhere without Kim seems like a just a waste of time because he'll say he'll say shit. And I don't want to like
I don't want to do things again. Oh my god, here we go. What's this? This is the thing that people uh what? A shaggy looking girl in her late teens or early twenties kneels on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, she looks up. Oh, hello there. It's cold out here, but she's not wearing a hat. She must be freezing. Let's give her a hat. Everyone knows drugs make you invulnerable to cold. Ah. I bet this one likes to party. Well, let's see. Do we ask if they want a party? Or do we just... Dear child, it's freezing. Where's your hat? Yes, where's your hat? Huh? Maybe she didn't hear you. A I little louder. Said you should have a hat on! So should you. Oh! Right. Come to think of it, I should. Where would I get one around here? I don't know. Some kind of a store? Maybe a general store? Look, man. Fuck the hat. Oh, we got another Kuna on her hands, what huh? What did she just say? Prepare to get punched! That's not how a civilian is supposed to address an officer of the law. Wait, I want to get my authority boots on. I need it. No, I don't want to. Ah, uh, shit. Is that language necessary? I'm sorry I said fuck the hat. I was concentrating on something else. My whole family swears and it rubbed off on me. Oh, did I miss my opportunity to do that check? I bet I can redo it. What's your name? Acel. Acel what? Her dyed blonde with dark roots showing. There's a coarseness to her features, some masculinity below that timidness. A cell who? I'm not a young suitor. This is official police business. Okay, it's Burger. A cell burger? You have little reason to doubt that's her real name, but she's not all that surprised by this cop show questioning, is she? Are you re any relation to Lisa Burger? What's that device you have there? This. It's a portable recording device. It's for field recording. Low quality, but still. And Actually, wires? just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to a contact microphone. What's a contact microphone? Contact mic records sounds from inside things, like this ice. Oh. Nice. You could maybe bug someone with it. Yeah. Wire tapping. How does it work? The mic? I don't exactly know. No one does. Somehow it doesn't pick up vibrations from the air. The book said it only picks up structure born sound, if you like techno babble. Where did you get the mic from? Same place I got the recorder from, the Palisseum. Where's that? Oh man, you haven't been to the Palisseum? It's the coolest place in this whole drug addled shithole. It's a music club and a synthesizer workshop on Boogie Street in Jamrock. Boogie? Musicians live there, like real musicians. I once saw Arno Van Eyck. Really? Is there any relation to Eddie Van Halen? Thinking about it really cheers her up. It's a long way from here, though. Who's Arno? Oh, yeah. Guess you wouldn't know Van Eyck. Mm. Or really be a Palisseum going kind of person. I get down! I don't know what that means. I grind! I don't know what that means either. I'm okay. No, I have concrete evidence that I rock in the form of a wrecked tape player in a completely trashed hostel room. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Time has deserted me. Sucks, man. Fuck my morale. Is there something else? About the contact mic, perhaps? I had some non-mic questions for okay. you. What are you doing here in the cold? Recording, I guess. What? What is, what are you recording? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice. But there's no way to tell. <coughs> Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps, too. Not sure how that will sound. What happened to the old headphones? What happened to the old headphones? My boyfriend sold them. What for? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. Drugs and anal lube. A I'm lie. Guessing. They were probably pawned off for something suspicious. And what are those recordings for? The cracks, the footsteps? The musicians in the Palisseum used them for making music. Oh, like they Bjork. They looped the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. 
You ever seen that Celebrity Jeopardy on SNL with uh, Winona Ryder playing Bjork? And she's like, everything is music. I take a pot, I go ting a pang, ping tong, ping tang, tong, ting, bong, bing, bong. Like, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, just not. Mm. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be like a music place anyway. Mm hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. Gotcha. She looks at the recording device. The things she thought would fill her hours with joy and escape. It's turning out to be an empty fantasy. She feels childish. Very useless all of a sudden. Wait a minute. Is that, is that a mission to go talk to her about? Oh, I mean, it's a mission to talk to her. She goes to bed at 2300, 11 o'clock. But there's no mission to, like, ask her out or anything. All right. The sharp drop in endorphins is almost visible, like a warm blanket has fallen off her shoulders. The wave of chill, the quivering jaw, oh. indications of a drug high. No! Mm. I don't want to give her my kimono! No, man, fuck that. Okay, good. I'm sorry I said that. Whew. I'm sorry about the fuck. Sigh. She's shivering a bit. Now this is where a hat would come in handy. Yeah, maybe you were right about the hat. You said it's supposed to be a music place? What is it? That. The boys think it could be a place, like the Palisseum or something. Stupid. It's really not going to be a Palisseum, that's for sure. And who are these boys? The boys? Yeah. Andre and the guys. They're inside, in the tent. And why is that? Why are you freezing out here while the boys are inside? They got too much stuff crammed in there. No room. Like what? Music stuff, mostly. Uh, like this tape recorder, uh, but bigger. Uh, and there's piles of it. You mean like those old headphones your boyfriend sold? Yep. They were pretty. I'm sorry we sold those. Why not just leave some of it outside so you don't have to freeze? That stuff is more expensive than I am. More expensive than any of us, really. Oh, Doesn't come on matter. now. I can take the cold. I had some other questions. Go ahead. Oh, there we go. Empathy Legendary. Tape recorder lies on the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. All right. Tell me more about this music place. It's supposed to become, like, a club for anodic dance music. Like that new style of I did, Frost. stuff they played I got the, the boots. Palisium. Except that... Yeah. She looks at the old wooden church up on poles as a mean wind comes bellowing in. The six-story structure lets out a doleful shriek. What is anodic, anal dick dance music? You know, anodic, cathodic, music that's made with electronic instruments. I think I'll like anal dick. All right. Well, like what? Electronic instruments. Synthesizers and tape consoles. Microcomputers, too. Anything that uses electricity, mm. but isn't guitars. Gotcha. Also found sounds, stuff like that. So you want to turn the church into a club? I know. It's not my idea. Andre and the boys found the place. It was supposed to be deserted, but now they can't even take it. Hey, you're a cop. No, nope. I am the law. Okay, well, maybe you could talk to Andre okay, and the guys. Well. <laughs> because there are some strange things going on in that church. If you're police, you should look into it, right? I'll talk to them. They're inside that thing there. Okay. Would be cool if you did. All right. Was there something else? Enough about the church then. I had other questions. Go ahead. You seem surprisingly uh, comfortable without being with being questioned. Why is that? Well, it's just questioning, right? You're just questioning me. It's what cops do. Yeah. Fast and clean. A good one. Can't quite say it's a lie, but it feels like one. She's better at lying than she'd like everyone to know. Have you been questioned before? Once or twice, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't had the Revishaw experience they get east of the river. So what trouble you gotten into with the police? The usual. I had a shitty run as a teenager. What's the usual? You know, drinking, getting into fights. The ugly stuff that happens when you move out your parents' place at 13. 
in Fulberg. Well, what's there? Is this a rhetorical question? No, I literally can't remember the most basic term sometime. Okay. It's a huge ghetto just south of Jamrock. I know what Jamrock is, but let's say I didn't. Come on, man. We're in it. This is uh, North oh. Jamrock. Oh, uh, oh. Sort of. The technicalities are confusing. Why did you need to move out at such a tender age? My dad was a drunk. Plus, I guess I just wanted to drink too, you know. Get my party on. You know what? I think I've really learned something from all those times you've been questioned. Some of your lives have been pretty good. Um, thank you. The girl is truly proud of herself. Can't even remember how many you've told or which ones I picked up on. Now, another question. Go ahead. Actually, that's it for now. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Do I have any empathy stuff? I know I'm pretty sure I do, right? Uh, that's authority. Wait, empathy is psyche, right? It is, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Back to that. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. Actually, I don't think I do. That, yeah, Inland Empire. Oh, there we go. There are some glasses. We got some glasses. We're good. We're good with that. And I don't have I don't have any more pure holodol. Pure holodol. So, kind of fucked on that one. But if you guys want to go ahead and give me a bump, give me a plus one in the psyche. Do it up. Oh, that brown coat. Brown coat. Oh shit! It does. Look at that. Look at that. Good job. Oh yeah, the 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 ledger. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it, dude. We're looking good. Did you guys give me a bump? You did. Thank you. All right. Let's see how hard it is now. Hello again. Oh baby, eight, six or higher. The device is cold to Fuck. the touch. It healed my the morale. The Micron logo adorns the yellow plastic cover. Underneath, you see a reel of tape rolling. You put the device back on the ice. Failed white checks heal my morale, so that's nice. All right, well, let's, uh... Let's go again! Hello again. The device is still warm from her touch and heavy as a brick from the batteries inside. The company logo, Omicron, adorns its yellow plastic cover. Inside, the tape is rolling. The girl looks at the device in your hands. I'm sorry you have to sit here on the ice with the drugs wearing off at your age or at any age in this weather waiting for it to get dark. She looks you in the eye, her pupils wide surrounded by a ridiculous amount of makeup the people who built this world intended for it to be better for you but they failed it's easier to live in their failure with this by your side the wind howls she remains silent it's real tell her it's not a childish fantasy it can be a real weapon against what's coming for you now what is the dark nothing if you don't if you got this oh you know what i'll let you guys i'll let you guys pick the dark or Nothing if you got this. Don't be scared. We're gonna give her our fucking tape layer? Come on. Who is a close one? Close vote! The dark. I know. I'll stick to it. She takes the device from you and places it in her lap. So thanks, I guess, for the psych session. Maybe I can return it. What's been eating you, officer? You said eating me. No, there's nothing eating me. Come on, I can tell. But, okay. Be a boy or dare about it if you want to. I guess there is something that's been making my life hell. What is it? The, the plight of the working class. Everyone's just mooching off entrepreneurial... Off the entrepreneurial class. Oh, this is where my politics. All right, what do you guys think? Foreign people taking their jobs. People just putting their selfish interests ahead of the greater good. Do it. Could Disco Elysium, the final cut, be eligible for your game of the year list this year? I think so. I'll ask the boys, but I think it I think it counts because it's a completely different game with the voice acting. 
It feels like it is anyways. People just keep putting their selfish interest ahead of the greater good. Oh, really? Yeah, no one understands that sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for the sake of progress. It's all very depressing, distressing. So, the thing that's been eating you is the slow pace of social progress. Mm, um, uh, 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 man, I don't know. I don't know. Any new missions? You can check, Frost, you can check my missions. Just click on the notebook on the screen. Uh, it's an extension. No, that's probably not it, is it? No, it sounds like you just got chick issues. Now that you mentioned, I found these letters I'd throw in the trash. They might have something to do with it. Okay. Why'd you think that? First, they had the faintest scent of chewing gum on them. I could still smell it under the shit. Wow, man. That's pretty symbolic. Don't you think? Yeah, I found that to be very symbolic, too. No, why? Used to be sweet. Now it's shit. Oh. Uh, Seems pretty symbolic to me. Anyway, what else? Well, they were written in a woman's hand, and oh boy did reading them make me not feel good. There you have it then, chick trouble. Not political after all. Who was she? No idea, I haven't seen her, definitely haven't called her. I don't remember a single thing about her. Really? You seem pretty upset about this chica. Are you sure you don't remember anything about her? Eyes? Hair color? I remember her scent, that's all. Wow, man. That's some pretty strange shit. Yeah. Are you sure the letters were for you? Yeah, <laughs> come to think of it, the whore could have written them to her lover! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Why would I have reacted so strongly otherwise? How come you don't remember, though? Is it like some selective memory thing? I think it's more about me getting unbelievably drunk. So unbelievably drunk, I completely erased all memory of this world. Yeah, or it might be that. This one time, I did so much booze that I forgot too. Or it might just be some psych bullshit, you know? Knigstein wank. What is Knigstein wank, and how do I do it? You know, the psych thing they've got going on there. Rich people like it. People in Knigstein are mostly rich. Thanks for the bullshit psych thing, then. You're welcome. Might be for the best to keep that shit forgotten, though. Just my opinion. If it itches, don't scratch. Yes, but it itches really, really bad. Like, real, real bad. Alright, so we got that. We lose our... Yeah, we... Oh, no! So, what did we give her? Did we pick up, like, some headphones or something from somewhere? I've not been in the church yet. It snapped my fucking, uh, crowbar. I just picked... Oh, I just picked it up? And gave it back to her? Oh. Okay. So, her hat's at the pawn shop, right? Hmm. Yeah, let's go. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. So I'm gonna squeeze in. Let's go. Now, question, I'm going to, I want, Chad, I want you to tell me because <clears throat> I don't want to have to do this again. Should I have Kim here for these upcoming talks and stuff? Or does it matter? Oh, he won't go in anyways. Cool. Excellent. That makes it easy. Smells like sweat and laundry detergent, plus a trace of ether or ether, however you say it. All right, I'm gonna take that off. Take that off. I think we'll leave those on. Gotta get that kimono back on. There you go. Gotta get my party party pants on. 
All right, feeling good, feeling good? Feeling pretty good, pretty good. All right, what else we got? Let him know. Oh, no, no, don't put that on it. It changes the music sometimes. Let's not do that. I don't want to change the music. There we go, bag of drugs. Oh, no, we'll use a flashlight, like a glow stick. There we go. Perfect. You guys tripping out yet? Coupri de la Ange. Coupri Lange. Engine starting fluid. A pile of nasal sprays. Brand name knows the Fed Ultra. A speaker, the big kind they use for live music. Canister is filled with what appear to be water. The label says distilled. All right. Let's talk. You see a youngish man Andre. bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a little pissed that I missed that red check with that girl. Oh, I, no, share dialogue open back up again. I back and do it again. All right, what do we do? Shake it? No, shake it. Oh, fuck! I need to back out of this conversation as fast as, I, as fast as possible so I can get my hands empty so I can do finger guns. What am I even thinking? I'll shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. Your stream is buffering, to, uh, J Master. I'm sorry, man. It's I'm dropping zero frames, so I don't know what it is. Oh, hey, if anyone knows, or if Lee is here or something, like, would switching my server? Because I'm on the Denver server, obviously, since it's the closest one. But if I switch, like, I don't know, San Francisco or Seattle or something, would it change for me, like the, or change for you guys? Like if, if, if the stream was buffering or not? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna, I'm just asking. I'm not necessarily going to do it. Uh, if you're not buffering, it should be no difference. Okay, okay. This is my posse, Noid. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. Uh, an egghead. Egg. Noid. Egghead. Together with a cell burger, who's out there right now? doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. How many ha how venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Honest of talent. <laughs> Say that again. Oh God, I can't wait to talk to Egghead. He sounds like, like a little bit like Bruno. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I, I apologise for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realise this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. What? Well, uh, there's no need. This place is pretty bad. Wait, okay. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the, the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. Yep. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. He's talking no like- No person his age would ever right. use a word like Narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. He's talking like uh, the character from the Sin City comics, the fat man and little boy. They talk to each other uh, it, like with, you know, $5 words. Like that's all they, they speak in this highfalutin like language. Uh, they just use like the most, the words with the most syllables 
uh, when speaking to each other, and that's what this guy sounds like. Enough histrionics, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Dopeheads! Thanks, Egghead! I love that guy. Burnouts! Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that, in Revershol. I found my badge, Zani. Yep. Strike that! The world! The world! And sad yet, because the dopeheads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze. Letting you imagine just how bad those dopeheads and burnouts really are. Good. This calls for an opinion. Mm -hmm. You're an expert in those. You bet. I don't know, I'm a bit of a dopehead myself. Oh, if it was just like that, it would be fine. But they're all so spooky. What do you mean, spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. Okay. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. You shouldn't eat the building, it's not healthy. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. I'll look into that. All right, man. Tell me more. Andre's obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchanged giddy looks. Did you put the padlock on the door? Yes. I asked Noy to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. Yo, Drew Mertz with the big 2-1, baby! Welcome back, Drew. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. What about the key? Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. Oh. Well, fuck. I wish I would have talked to you before I broke my fucking crowbar. All right. Yeah. Speed Freak dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key, then makes a sudden cool and fuse move, tossing your general direction. I will catch it. 97% anything but a deuce! You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small ringing sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to your left. Oh man, this would be the perfect time for the finger guns and I don't even have them locked and loaded! Damn it! ka -ching. The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. Hmm. What do we do, guys? Do we bask or do we play it cool? Oh, we're gonna play it cool, huh? Alright, I'll play it cool. The nice speed man. freak nods to you. Uh, uh, uh. A respectful nod. You proved something here. How long have those people been locked in there? Not long. Like a week, maybe? How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%. I mean, maybe 85% sure they're still alive. 85% is good enough. No one lives forever, baby. Exactly. That's exactly what we thought. The cage of the rage. Rough blaze. Oh, God. Egg means the situation is right. monitored. No, I got it's it. It's relatively safe. No, we, no one has died yet. I'm good with that. All right, other questions. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. That's Let's it do for it. that's it for now. As always, we'll be right here. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Auto save. But there we go. All right. Now. Oh. Mwah. Missed you, babies. All right. No, no, not yet. No. No, I'm gonna holster you for, for, for now. All right. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? All right. Who exactly are these people inside the church? Truth is, 
I don't really know. None of us do. You don't, I don't know. even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. You haven't seen that many, you don't? Know, when you want the police involved? Well, there's also the machinery. When I first scouted the place back in February, it was abandoned, empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires water. into water. Water? I've never seen anything like it. Water. Andre, water. Tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. Oh, everybody has that, right? You always feel like there's a constant companion, like hiding in the dark, telling you to kill and fuck things. Just me? No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. For this man, even regular silence is awful enough. But that was something greater. But you haven't physically seen anyone? Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple of times. And we felt someone or something eyeing us inside. But that's kind of it. What was that about something watching you? Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. Crab people? Taste like crab? Talk like people? Yeah, you know. I've the mad, I've dealt with their kind. The ceiling, like a crab. Okay. It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behavior. Are you sure there was a crab man? Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time, but I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. Well, what about the crab nipples? Get, get, get the nipple crab, got the crab nipples. So he hasn't even been in there lately. Is he afraid? You should ask her about it, but be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. Jesus, God. Can you tell me more about this machinery? You should talk to Noid about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dopehead sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely. Do you want me to read that out loud, Scott? Or like, was that something I missed in chat? Because it is on the line. <laughs> no, he deleted it. All right. He doesn't want me to read that on, in the yeah, out loud. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> So how can you be sure they're burnouts and dope heads if you haven't seen them? Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. Why not? Let's go with that. I don't see a single thing wrong with this argument. I'm 70% sure they're substance users. Ah. Don't let the technology fool you. He makes little quotation marks around his fingers always when he says, technology. All right, let's talk about something else. Sure. What? You mentioned some kind of Ecclesiastes on the church. Who are these Ecclesiastes? Oh yeah. That's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. What do you mean by meteorin? You know, of meteo. Concerning meteo. Don't say it out loud! You're gonna kill somebody! Meteo! Meteo. A country. On Muindi. On the Muindi Isola. M... M... Meteo! Uh, lower C! Five years, baby! Like a mouse, like a like a mouse. Five years, five years for Lorsi. Thank you, Lorsi. Oh, the founding party. I do know them. Can you refresh my memory? Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up. You know, I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And and they have roots in ancient mass society, and they're the custodians of the Periconassian Church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the Innocentic system, no? Sounds like they wouldn't appreciate a dance club in their church. You're totally wrong about that. The Periconassian church is about love, and Nordic music is about love. I got love for my Periconassian posse. 
Love is the relay out of death. We dance. Hmm. One second here. See if I can get it right here. How's that? We dance! We go in there and we dance. We take drugs and we dance so nice all day, every day. Come and, come and sit with us and take drugs. Yes. Oh, let me see a schmeckel. I want to see it. I want to see a schwanz. Show it to me. Give it to me. Oh, I go like this on your schwanz. La 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 Oh It's so small it's hard for me to see but was that alright? Did it work? Did it look okay? Love is hardcore Oh wait I hold on I can blow it up a little bit. There we go. Let me let me let me see if it looks good again. Oh uh, what? Oh, that's what's wrong one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like this. If you come and uh, dance with me. Yeah. Oh my God. I still love it so much. Come here. Let me touch your monkey. Oh, such a nice monkey. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Okay, love is hardcore! Unity! Unity! Make some noise for my insulindian posse! He turns the volume up and looks at you with knowing nod as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. Okay, no words, enjoy the beat. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. What is the policy? Come on. Do I not dance? Okay, I'll just enjoy the beat, I guess. Feels good. I think I can go through all of them. I don't quite understand. What are you talking about? What's a posse? Your posse's like your people, man. Like you got your cup posse. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a posse. And where is your posse, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. Sounds like you're just saying random things. Love, posse, make noise. Are we? Yeah! <laughs> oh, really enjoys it when his friend gets mysterious. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, it can. He's coming around. You're getting it. Yeah, you can see that you can see. You can see Ambrosius. Bobbing along. All right, so what do we, how do we proceed? I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. No, that's too much. No sane organization wants this level of absurdity. It's one of my best, huh? Quite the opposite. Well, thank you very much. I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Anal dick music is about love. And so is the Parkinassian church. Yeah! Yako Kata! The place to be! Yeah, Yako Kata! He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Pericarnassianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand, approvingly so. 
Harry Kardashian's gonna be real. It's a really cool place. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. You feel like you could go for a little disco when or if they get this club going. You've got it in you. I wanted to ask about this tent full of equipment. Yes. What? I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When I first scattered the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. It's distilled too. Uh, oh. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like he's lying to you, my liege. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. Hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. <laughs> oh, he picks up a piece of telegram and inspects it. Wait, I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? Well, smell this rag. Does it smell like ether to you? No. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent like laundry detergent. He sniffs the air, then shrugs. A shrug is good enough for us. Why say it when you can shrug it? What's with all the nose of fed? The what now? The nose of fed ultra, you have a lot lying around. Oh, the old ultra. A bit of the we, old ultra? Um, little of the old ultra, ultra violence? Have some malacca with knives and get into a real horror show with my rookers? He's like an actor, looking to the souffle for his line. I have a major sinus infection, stuffy nose, we all do. Shit's all blasted up, winter, can't even breathe. Sound fine to me? Yes, that's all Nosefed's doing. Without the noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nosefed is the shit. Can I have some? I have problems too, with my um, nose. Sure. Thank you. Here you go, officer. The noser. Blast away. I get the nose of it, but what, what about the engine starting fluid? The engine starting fluid? It's for starting engines. What engines? What's with the goddamn Romangarod earrings? It's cold. The fluid's for the generator. Oh. Keep on it, sire. How's that extra high ether content working out for you? Does it do the trick? I guess it does. You know, maybe the slight scent of ether I felt before is somehow connected to the ethyl ether. No idea, man. All right. He nods enthusiastically, no doubt a little relieved. Godly logic. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Okay, so this is one of those, like, really hard, but, like, it opens up stuff check, I'm guessing. Because you get these every once in a while. Like, like the authority check for, uh, what's-his-face, the, the fucking Hardy Boys. It's like they expect you to talk, get bonuses and stuff, and then come back and nail it. So I got plus five on my logic. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. I'll yeah. be right here. All right. Save or not, save. Okay. So, logic. Nope, that doesn't give me logic. I think it's the only item that gives me pluses and minuses that I carry in my hands. All right, logic will be, it's probably glasses, I'm guessing. It's a blue. Wow. I had a lot more clothes with logic than I expected. Holy shit, I've got tons of clothes with logic. L dude, this outfit makes me the most logical motherfucker in the universe. All right, look at that. I got a plus four to logic now. And uh, let maybe, yay, let's uh, have ourselves a smoke raise that intellect a little bit take some nose of fed get those smokes out of my hand gotta have those finger guns ready and uh logic is okay out of seven 
How about you give me a hand, uh, babies? Give me a little hand with this. Give me some logic. Give me some intellect upgrade. How about that? How about that? That feel good? That feel good? Give me a little, little, little intellect bump. Hey, you did good, guys. You did real good. Okay. Hi again. So, uh... Holy shit! 97%. So anything but a deuce. A number of things don't add up. Let's take a look. How about gather around, kids? Okay, kid. Gather around. The young speed freak puts down a busted capacitor and looks at you. The one with the large head seems very enthusiastic about whatever you have planned. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, do, hold on, I got an idea. Let me... There we go. I am in fact very enthusiastic about this. I, I think it will come off very good. I look at my face. Ah, ah, so enthusiastic. I am ready for whatever you have for me. Oh, bring it on now. Hardcore. Oh. I always have to end it with some sort of mouth open gibberish shit. Okay. Continue. There would be leader is less amused. Okay. Uh, some, some time in the past, I'm not sure when and where, but betrayal was involved. I feel, I felt sick and became that shadow you see now. But before that, I have reason to believe I was a police detective. But you still are. Thank you for your kind words, but everyone in here sees I'm a disgrace to the uniform. I was good enough in this job to be awarded the rank of lieutenant. You freighter. I could have been captain. Imagine that. What happened? Well, what happened, guys? I'll let you guys. What do you, what do you think happened? What happened? I figured you guys would say that. Disco happened. I've been trying to say we need the next step in dance music to happen fast. Shut it. What? I have. I've said that. Now, obviously, that might be as well. It might as well have been a thousand years ago, but there's still some detective left in me. The young speed freak is silent. He senses something is wrong. Oh, yeah. I forgot to talk to the lady. She's uh, in bed now. Sorry, uh, thirsty motherfuckers out there that I didn't go talk to the blonde lady. My bad. This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. I have no idea how you arrived at that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. One speaker. They have one speaker. Where's his friend? Did he lose his friend? What do you mean friend? The other speaker, you only have one. It's a one speaker system. It's monodynamic. You wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction in anodic music. Other speaker. You have no headphones. Wouldn't a cell, a cell, uh, eater headphones to spin tape? What do you know about spinning tape? Nothing. I know you pawn them, likely for lab equipment and drug ingredients. I'm sorry, but there is no lab equipment and no drug ingredients. That nose of it here is for its active ingredient. He said it was for his nose. What more do you want? You're all the Smurfs, and I know it! The distilled water, the cornerstone of a clean lab. And of all cellular-based life. What's your point, Lawbringer? The ethyl ether is from Cupria de Lange, a solvent. Good for getting acting agent out of a solution. Make up your mind. First it's the sweat, then it's the ether. There's no need for me to pile on anymore, is there? No shit. In short, you tried to use a police detective to set up a drug lab. That's... Come on, that's... That's... What? What are you gonna say? That's... 
Monty Python's Flying Circus. It is punishable by summary execution. It's not. So what are we going to do with you? What do you mean, do? Sex. Wait, the other thing. Jail. There's resignation in his voice. He's almost ready to drop the act. It wouldn't take a lot of pushing. All right. We do this lawman style for some reason to pass judgment. Okay, you guys go ahead. Tell me what's really going on and we'll work from there. I can be lenient. I don't care. I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want and I'll do what I want. Tough choice on that one. So I'm letting you take it. All right. You tell me what's really going on here and we work from there. I could be lenient. What do you mean by lenient? Well, haven't you heard? I'm the dirtiest cop this side of the river. I'll make life hard for you using every connection I got. He thinks for a moment, then opens his mouth, but closes it again, then finally raises his hands. Things are just way too hard for an entrepreneur in this city. It's not like we're not going to turn the church into the wickedest club in East Revershaw. Because we are! We totally are! We just got to turn it into a speed lab first. You know, to get our foot in the door. Why did you need me? Like I told you, spooky arseholes moved in while I was getting all this stuff together. A month ago, the place was empty, and now it's all spooked up. They're not really spooky, are they? No, man. They're spooky, all right. It's just that they would also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there. Now yeah, that'd be a tough to explain to renter's insurance, I'm sure. But the sign was way off, too. I couldn't feel the love at all. Sir, you promised you'd be lenient. This is it. Judgment time. All right. Chad. I'm trusting you. This is a very important decision, so let's read over these carefully. Give me your cash. Ask for a bribe. Pack up and report to Precinct 41. Arrest them. Get lost. I don't want to see you again, evict them. Let's do this clean. No speed lab, just a club for anal dick music. Proceed with the club. It wouldn't work without the lab. Do what you have to do to keep the club alive. Proceed with both. I have to look into the spooker situation before I can decide what to do with you. What do you think? All right, let's do this clean. No speed lab, just a club for anal dick music. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, hardcore! Yeah! Wait, is this one? There we go. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it. That would be leather leader drops the spike tip between them. It's impossible now. No, Andre, it's harder now. This hard cop has come to show us how much the fish is, and the fish is always so much more. We all know there was never going to be a club for anodic music with the speed lab. Now it has a fighting chance. Uh, no, this one. There we go. Is there a hard cop? Wait, good cop, bad cop. Wait, it went down. I had it at like five. I don't understand. I guess, I don't understand this number. I guess. Hang on. What's that about a fish? There needs to be a club for anodic music in there. Needs to. Everyone hates each other. Everybody hates it here. It's all just drugs and we're slaves and I can't. We are running out of time. We need a win, Andre. I promise this will be a win. We won't cook speed in there. We'll do it clean. 
We'll do it true. We'll do it sober and real and beautiful. This will be a victory for the light. Right, let's call this incident crime prevention. But I have my eye on you. Okay. We'll try to do it without the drugs. We'll do a straight club up in there, spinning the maddest reels. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a straight club. I swear to God. In fact, it'd probably okay. be better if it wasn't a straight club. Uh, just from experience, those usually do a little better. From here on, it'll be straight all the way. No, oh, what did I just say, Egghead? Not straight, come on. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. Yeah. Save. All right. A young man with peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harmon Welsh. Oh, I thought he was bald. Nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, Hardcore! Hardcore! Hardcore to the mega! Internally coherent! All car! All right! Yeah! He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Hardcore! Ah! Let's out an agonized roar of the feeblish, obviously not too hardcore beat. So hardcore! Is it though? It is! But is it? I mean, really? I was thinking that too! I am the mic enforcer. I am the chick's checker. Yeah! Could there have been a right way out of this garden of forking paths, you think? It's a, it's a conversation choice puzzle. Cool. Dig it. All right, there has to be some way to talk to this person. You just haven't found it yet. It's definitely not about signs. What if we just try again? Find your way out of this maze of things to say. The young man. This is hardcore. Is it? It's hardcore. You're just gonna keep saying hardcore, aren't you? Skibber D, skibber danger. I am the rearranger. You know it's not really clever if you just rhyme a word with gibberish. Back to the heavy hardcore. Hardcore. But is it? I mean, really? Yeah. This young man adds a capital G before the H in his yags and args. This produces a guttural Gottwaldian accent and makes him sound more animal, more in it. Or maybe it's not Gottwaldian. Maybe it's Oranese. Probably an homage to Oranie, where Arno van Eyck is from, judging by his name. Could you be listening to an Arno van Eyck creation right now? So is this the famous Van Eyck I've been, I'm hearing? You know about him? Moves his mouth, but doesn't sound... The sound doesn't come out. His eyes are the size of saucers. Looks like you've rendered him speechless. You know Van Eyck? Yeah, I'm a major Eyckhead. Wow. The skinny wraith looks at you with some disbelief. Come on, bring on the gatekeeping, motherfucker. Go ahead, do it. So am I. So am I. Oh, is that why they call you Egghead? Because... Egghead to the mega, the K became the G, the boy became the man. The advent? Oh, did I, I didn't win. What happened? We're close. True, hard, full, car. Hard car. Hard car to the mega. Internally coherent. I was wondering if you knew the killed mercenary hanging behind the whirling and rags hostel. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yako Qatar, the place to be. Okay. You said that before. Why is this Yako Kata? What is the place to be? What does that mean? Yako Kata is a hardcore place. Fuck! We're close. True, hard, hardcore, hardcore to the internally coherent. All car, all right, yeah! 
Please tell me what exactly you're doing. You gotta get the people going. Why? I'm the party boy. It's my job. What's a party boy? Hardcore party 25-7 beyond the winter's orbit style. Oh. The clothes. True. Hard, hardcore, hardcore to internally cohere. All car. All he furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of Hardcore! Ah! No, but seriously, I'm a little worried it isn't. The question is, what is the question? That would have been good if I'd asked you a question, but I didn't. Now it's just idiotic. But there was a question? Fuck! The clothes. True, hard, full, hard, 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 hard as a mega. All right! Here comes the night. Fuck! The club true hard cut hard cut internally co all car He furrows his breath Hard car ah. It isn't The question is Just answer that the is, question but there was no question ah. The club true hard hard cut hard cut internally all car He furrows his breath ah. Is it though I was just saying that a moment ago One mind one spirit there's no other world there's no other life the clothes. True. Ha hardcore. Hardcore. In turn. All. He furrows. Ha. Is it though? But is it? I mean, really. The question. What is the question? No, but seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. I guess I got it. Don't be alone. Everything is okay. He isn't actually worried. Everything is still super hardcore. What he probably means is. It could be even more so. Why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Lungs are for love! Why, why would lungs be for love? When Dolores Day was anointed innocence, her lungs started glowing through her body. For the world loved her, and she loved it back. Yeah! Why wouldn't they be? Are the lungs not the place where you hold the breath of your soul? Really? I think so. Well, the lungs are where you hold the breath of your soul, aren't they? Highly gaily. Are you a thought reader? No nation, but transnation. No war, but class war. Does that mean you're a thought reader? Don't be a lunatic. Of course he is. Germania just yells random things. Odds are, sooner or later one of them will come off as fault reading. Yeah! Revachon imperative! Unless you were thinking Revachon imperative right now. Anyway, I've had a similar thing happen with eggs yelling. I know what you mean. Hmm. Well. The thing is, I was thinking Revachol Imperative! That's fucked up, man. Lying like that. And a cop, too. Ah, oh, so you're not a thought reader, you're a communist? He's not a communist. It's just something he likes to yell. He picked it up from a tape jockey at the Palisseum. She was a communist, though. Yeah! With the rebel yell! Communists are pansies! Can't fight invaders and internationals in Babel, you need to strengthen the pure nation! Best not be a communist. Having extreme views on issues is detrimental to understanding all ties, all sides. Nah, they're pansies. I can do that. If you want that, I can be a conduit for the mystical nationhood. Please don't turn him into a fascist. Oh yeah, sure. This is exactly what we need. <laughs> be a fascist. Don't be a fascist. <laughs> don't be a fascist, okay. Has he ever experienced the enlightenment of listening to any of these scooter tracks? I don't think so. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Don't be fat. Don't be a fascist. That path is too hardcore. Aye. You guess AK won't become a fascist after all. All right. Best not to be a communist. Having extreme views on issues is detrimental to understanding all sides. Oh, sure. I can do that. If you want that, I can avoid taking a stand. Please don't turn him into a moralist. I don't even know what to say to that. 
Well, what do we say? Be a moralist, Egghead. Balance needs your help. Don't be a moralist. Wait, what am I saying? Don't be moralist. Path requires a sensible examination of all nuances untenable of most people. Why are you so adamant about this, Killian Hart? Be a moralist, Egghead. The balance needs your help. Aye. You guess Egghead is a moralist now. Right on, right on. Tell me something else, Egghead. It's time to compromise. <laughs> I wonder if that changes, like, now that he's a moralist, he changes what he shouts? All right. Um, we're almost there. Could use just a bit more something. Incremental change. Appropriate. I'm swiftly moving toward a solution which pleases nobody. <laughs> you feel Jermaine Egghead's smile is too enthusiastic, but it'll have to do for now. You said you were worried. What do you think is wrong with the music? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. Sometimes I just feel like anodic music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last months and will continue pumping for the rest of 51. Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? It's like it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right. It's not hyper hardcore. If anything, it sounds a bit proto, like it's not fully formed yet. You might be a moribund alcoholic and a failed cop, but you are pretty certain a thing cannot be both proto and hardcore. Guys, it's proto, not hardcore at all. Wow, culture cop. I think you might be right, but how could it become hardcore then? I know it in my heart, but cannot sink it in my head. If this is not hardcore, how could anything be? Oh, Scooter's techno group from the 90s, this whole bit is full of quotes from their songs. Oh, right on, okay. Man, are, are, were they huge? Because I never heard of them. I'm just wondering if that's like a little tidbit for, uh, for like a small group of people or not. Oh, Europe huge. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right. Sounds surprisingly like a question. What? I thought the question was, what is the question? No! This is the answer! Speaking of that, I gotta get back to Persona. Try to think of anything to make it harder core. What? Guys, there's something happening in his head. Think even harder. Oh, yeah! He's doing it! But you're not. This is almost certainly a matter that surpasses the limits of reason. My imagination fails me! I know! So does mine! Wait, I just remembered something! I'm the police! Uh-huh. And uh, nothing! Me being police isn't going to help us! Oh! I can't help you with this right now! I need some extra... something else! Something extra! Yeah! I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> okay, physical instrument. 12. We got a three, so we need a nine or higher right now. Okay. Is your real name Jermaine? Dark Hard Hardcore! Jermaine Egghead! Um, basically, yes, it is. All right, then. Goodbye, Egghead. All right. Here comes the night. Holy hell. That was a hell of a conversation. All right, let's see. Something that gives me physical instrument. This does. I know that the, the tank top does. Man, for how many times I go through these, Oh, that gives me both, though. Oh, uh, you know, where is that teacher? What does it else give me? Minus two authority. Oh, good. Yeah, that's it, huh? All right. 
So we got, what, we got a bonus to, wait, physical instrument? Nope, this one, there we go. Physical instrument, oh, we got a minus one. Physique, base is two, bonus random is two, wasteland reality since I'm thinking about, or I have it, yeah, that one gives me minus one. No handheld items give me, uh, give me physical instrument. The only one, only handheld item that gives me bonus is this ledger. I could, oh, I could take, oh, nope, I can't. Alcohol doesn't have any effect on me anymore. Cause I'm, I'm a teetotaler, I'm sober, baby. The launch had incremental progress. So we got even, yeah. we got 40, so it's eight or higher now. Help me out, Chad. Give me some physique. Give me a little pop, a little bonus to physique. And we'll get this hardcore shit started. Did you do it? Thanks, guys. All right, seven or better. No. No, nope, healed morale. Sick. That Your means I failed the white check. Chicken. It's for robust, wholesome things. Things like discus, javelin, and 400 meter hurdle. Shit. Mm, discus. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? Sounds like you're the suicide cop. Oh, shit. With How'd I get this? finger on the eject button, ready to let go of this life. But guess what? I wonder what triggered this. Last time it was me drinking and getting fucking high and shit, but I guess failing, maybe. You idiot. You've got the bullet, but no gun. You've made such a big show out of it, too. You feel like everyone basically expects you to do it now. Yep. What is this? You're not ready to die. This is garbage. What do I do, man? What do I do? What do who am I? Who am I? What am I? Seriously? You're not going to accept either one of these. What a pity, because it's totally me, Suicide Cop. Suicide Cop does have a ring to it, but I should think about it only a little. No, it's a sign that I want to live. Fine. Keep up the charade another day. This could have been so liberating, but you cling to the case, to your partner, oh, to the world. The yes option it's split. It's pitiful. I get it. I get it. The yes option split it. Well, sorry. All right. We got one more person to talk to. So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid. Good. It was really fortunate that I actually found these guys after uh, me and Kim split up, because I'm spending, like, the... I'm not wasting any uh, time where Kim needs to be with me. He, w he wouldn't come in here anyways, apparently. It's so. good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Sign? Yeah, gotta compare. See if we can align. Interesting. I suck at socializing, man. Even now, our sign synchronization is way off. But I'll see what I can do. Uh, is there a time to be before you're in bed? No, but uh, time does not advance after 2 a.m. So, nothing actually like. Wait, or does it? Does it? I don't remember. At 2 a.m. something happens. I saw a sticker on the padlock. Can you tell me about it? A sticker? You mean the yellow one? Can you describe it to me? Interesting. I can show he you. wants you to describe it, though he already knows what it looks like. I mean this one. Oh, wow. Right on your cop ledger. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. It is cool, but it's also more than that. Much more. Noid is a bit disappointed. It's just cool. What's it supposed to be? The dead guy smiling. And what does it mean? Why is the dead guy smiling? He defeated history. Oh. We are living in the age of history. Okay. And in the eyes of history, okay. we are always already dead. Ugh. How can we ever smile then? All right. Because history is a lie, and so are its deaths. Fair enough. The present moment and life are the hardcore. The hardcore expels death. Or maybe he's not dead. 
Maybe he's just really ecstatic about the beats. Ah, better not mention it. He blinks, waiting for the next question. I think we've exhausted the subject well, for now. I guess one could write an entire treatise on the thing. But what for? What about now? Are the signs all right now? Nah. Hmm. Still strongly out of sync. Stage gamma disalignment. What? You heard me. No, I... Yeah. Okay. Tell me about the machines you saw in the church. Weird stuff. Specialized. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into water. Gives off a spy sign. Or some fucked up Samaran science sign. You know, the kind that goes head first into the supernatural. What's wrong with the supernatural? Nothing's wrong with it. You should definitely be researched. You can still do sick shit with it, though. The supernatural? So you think it's a re it's real? It actually exists? Most of it doesn't exist. But there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist. Because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale-related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. So Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper was right. They do live. Why are you called Noid? The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. I don't understand. Sync the signs with Noid. Oh, fuck. I can see the further sign mention would do good for us. One of get us in the church. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll come back later. Noid doesn't want to talk to you. The signs are on the scene. Guess you need help. So help him and his friends out somehow. Okay. So I do. I need to get in the church, and then he'll tell me. Got it. All right. Hmm. All right. I got a level up. Man. I mean, look at all these thoughts I have left to do. I just hate that you can't really tell what they are before you, like, take them. So weird. All right. Save, save, save the game. All right, hard save. Bingo. All right, y'all. It is time for a break. Let me... There we go. All right, it's time for a break. But before we go to break, it is also time for me to give you my spiel of support, which I won't be doing today. I'll just say, hey, thank you for watching. Follow me, subscribe to me, give me money, email me, Discord me. Well, don't Discord me, email me. Uh, and thank you, Lurkers, because we have a last week in Zeke to 